Okay, I just wanted to have a quick look at a couple of stoves. Um, first one is this MSR Mountain Safety Research Whisper Light Universal Stove. Uh, now, my wife actually bought this one because uh, she wanted not only a lightweight camping stove, which is that there, but she also wanted something in a, you know, if the, the power goes out, she wants a stove that she can cook on at the house in an emergency. So this was the, um, you know, the backup stove for that. Now, what's pretty cool about this setup um, is that you can get a, you've got a fuel container and you have a pump, so you can actually pump it up and actually use uh, white gas or unleaded um, gasoline petrol to cook with this thing so it's got it's a multi-fuel stove unfortunately I only have the um, the propane adapter at the moment I've just ordered the, um, the pump set up so um, you know I'll be able to use um, white gas, gasoline in there if I want to. Uh, with these stoves, it's kind of a necessity when you start using um, other, you know, multiple different fuels. You'll see at the back there is that coil. I think you can see that. There's a loop at the back of the stove. And what that does is actually helps to heat up the gas before it um, comes out through the jets and the, the nozzle. Uh, so what it means is you can, uh, this will work even in very cold environments. With your regular propane stoves, you know, like your Coleman stoves, or you know, even my, uh, my off-grid place, when I'm using um, propane, there is some nights that it gets that cold that the propane, propane just um, no longer functions. And... Um, this type of stove, this type of setup, it, it actually preheats the gas before it comes through the jet, so it means you always have, always have a good pressure. And um, so that's that one there. And I've been looking for a a new little propane stove. I just wanted something very small, and um, you know, just something I can use to make a cup of coffee or a bit of you know camp cooking. Uh, but I did not like these um, butane canisters, and um, so I I have actually put off buying one of these multi fuel or you know butane stoves because it, you know these butane canisters are actually more difficult to find. I mean they don't carry them in every um, um, supermarket. Uh, you know you pretty much have to go to a camping store to actually buy them. So they're not as easy to find, they're more expensive, so I have not gone for them. Uh, but recently, just today actually, I saw this here and it was this cute little stove and it came with this adapter. So what that means, get this, it's probably going to be hot so I'm going to put it over there for now. So what it means... so it might be a little bit of a learning curve put my directions in there so that, that and oh, it's got to go the other way there we go so that's all set up Try unscrewing this one here so I don't have to open up another one. Another reason why I don't prefer these style of cans is that I've noticed sometimes after you've um, opened them the first time they leak very easily. It seems to be when you come to use them the next time they're already empty. So um, that didn't leak that time, that worked. So, right there. 
area is my just turn on a bit of gas. I can hear that going. I like that. Very small camp stove running off these butane cylinders. What I really liked is why I bought it today. Have it in the past was because I had this adapter. And what this adapter should allow me to do is take that off. So my Coleman. You can see that Coleman propane cylinder. It's very cheap. Relatively, and not only can I use the the butane and have a nice little tiny cooker that I can take with me camping and uh, keep in my car in an emergency, I've also got the ability. Oh, turn it down a bit. Might be too much going on there. And there we go. And now I have got the uh, propane working on that as well. Probably takes a little bit more adjustment. I had to adjust it so um, if I turn it up too much, I think it's going to go out. But that's working fairly well. Um, now if I remember, put these today, what have I got in there? 110 grams, 453 grams, so four times as much, and this here costs about the same as that there. So a lot more fuel, it's a lot more cost efficient if I can use these uh, Coleman propane cylinders and of course they're much easier to buy. You can buy them in any grocery store most of the time. Um, so yeah, that's my new stove. Uh, new stove is, got it from Cal Ranch, called a fireman stove, KB0808. Uh, it's got a name on there, Covea.com, made in Korea. I like that, that's my new, that's my new mini stove. Very cool. Oh, that's what I should try. I should try um, with my wife's uh, whisper light. So let's see, let's unscrew that. Should just screw in here. Good. Now, just the oh, that's upside down. So this flexible gas line is fairly stiff so I don't feel like I can unless I sit that up on something I don't feel like I can um, you know, set that down so I'm gonna try laying the, the propane cylinder down which is something I do not normally do I will give it a shot right here and this is a Pretty much a full propane cylinder. All right, and that is working. Actually, may even uh, have a bit more heat energy than butane. Yeah, pretty cool. 
and that's the MSR Micro Light. What's that? What's it called? Whisper Light. Um, working with the Coleman Propane Adapter. And both those, both the, uh, the fireman stove and the adapter, I picked up from Cal Ranch this afternoon.